What is up, Theme Park Overload fans? This is Anthony here with my second Holiday in the Park update for Six Flags America. I went over some things in the first video about Six Flags America's Holiday in the Park, and this will be just a follow-up on that with more details. So let's get started with their show lineup, which includes Home for the Holidays, Defenders of the North, an Elf Stunt Show, Winter Rock, Jingle Jam, Kids Holiday Dance Party, Holiday Gross, and Season of Magic. Six Flags America says that they'll have a lot of treats that are get you into the Christmas spirit, such as eggnog, everyone loves a glass of eggnog, sliced turkey, I'm probably going to get you hungry by doing this, awesome funnel cake, and s'mores, because everyone loves s'mores, especially me. Now in Coyote Creek, next to Renegade Rapids, which will be closed obviously. Mind Eraser will be open though, so everyone can get their head bashed by the Vacoma SLC. The bumper cars will be open, so you and your family can go head to head, and maybe team together to fight other cars. That's where you make friends or enemies, as I would like to say. This whole area will have a lot of Christmas themed lights, and I'll show you that at the end. And down there is Rodeo, which will most likely be open as well. This is what Coyote Creek will look like when the lights are lit. That was just a testing right there. And over here is Apocalypse, which will be open. Roar will also be open, which is very f fun wooden coaster. Back where Mardi Gras is, Raging Cajun will definitely be open. And they'll have a parade type thing, like a little party down here. And it's like one of their shows. And it should be a pretty fun time. French Quarter Flyers. It has been open at Hershey Park, the Flyers, for their Christmas event. So you can pretty much think that this will be open as well. Voodoo Drop, they confirmed that that will actually be open, which is definitely a good thing. Bourbon Street Fireball should be open because it's in the area, but I'm not quite sure yet. And Wild One is also confirmed that it will be open for this event, which is one of my favorite classics, so I'm really excited. Back here, we have these two coasters that won't be open, sadly. And over by the Main Street area, this will look probably the best out of any area. Maybe Coyote Creek will beat it. And hopefully there's not as much people as you see in here. This is a packed day. And the crowds for Holiday in the Park might be pretty bad, but I wouldn't expect this bad. But yeah, this area where I'm walking through should be really, really pretty. And I'm really excited to see this part of the park. So thank you guys for watching this video. And please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next time.